Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Shine. and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare Remastered. Let's go on free for all. I haven't really played this in a while. And I'm going to change my classes and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really know why I've not played MWR in a while. I guess I've been playing a bit of Infinite Warfare, mostly FIFA. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back on here. Still got 100 COD points, which I have absolutely no use for because 200 cop points is the highest, so wait a minute, oh, don't matter, I thought the salvage was my points, I was like, wow, I can get a lot, a lot of freaking supply drops, we got Bog, I love Bog, this is probably one of the best maps on this game, to be honest, um, yeah, see how we do, also, I'm trying out different camera angles, like, now I've got, uh, obviously the camera I use for my vlogs, I can pretty much experiment with any camera angle I can, like, and I don't have to just use the Logitech. Anyway, we're getting into the game now. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be telling you guys about my controller and, you know, just pretty much what happened, what happened after that happened. And my first shot is a hit marker. Oh dear, wait, come on, I need to get this kill guys, I can't not kill that guy. Jug, man. Jug. Wee, we got a kill. <laughs> no scope. Alright. So a lot of you are going to realise, or you probably already know, FIFA is one hell of a rage-inducing game. So that's pretty much the commentary over. I'll see you guys later, peace. Okay, I'm joking, guys. But, honestly, FIFA... I was playing the weekend league, I think it was. I got four wins in the end, which... Which pretty much explains to you why I was getting angry and like how how I was angry basically. I was just not winning a thing. It's not my fault, well, it's partially my fault because I'm bad, but honestly, the teams that you come up against play this 24-7, like honestly, they play it all day every day. Or from what I believe, they're honestly so good at the game, so they can't play it a couple hours a day, I know that much. Normally I'm good with rage though, like I don't usually go too mental when, you know, I lose a game or something happened which shouldn't have happened. Oh my god, another hit marker. Jesus. And I was just losing so many, so I just got annoyed. And honestly, I've I've done this in a, I will admit, I have done this in a video. Uh, it was a FIFA video, obviously, and I ended up hitting my uh, desk with my controller which is very bad, I shouldn't be doing it and I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore after what happened and this was before I broke it so you know it was just in a video I just hit the desk with my controller, nothing special um, and in like a couple of days time after that, after a few more days the, the left joystick or you know the left uh, thumbstick started to feel a bit like rough when I moved it, like not like the sticky uh, some sticks you get like it was like um, not moving smoothly it was like jagged the edges and stuff I weren't really sure too much what exactly was going on um, I soon realized after a few minutes oh, I just realized I haven't got my control freaks on and I'm playing the game which my control freaks are advertising so I better put those on alright we're all ready and the next map is countdown nice so after a few minutes of wiggling around the, the joystick, thinking, what is this? Why is it like scraping every time I move it? Um, it just completely came loose. Imagine, guys, literally, picture this. You're trying to you're trying to move around, and it just completely goes loose. It starts freaking like flopping around everywhere, and pretty much it snapped. And I was just so annoyed. It was at that moment I knew I had effed up honestly like it's not until you break your controller until you like it's not until then that moment you know that hitting it is not a good idea so I thought it might have come like loose from its um I don't know I thought it was like popped in and it wasn't actually like snapped in half or anything so just to check because I was trying to like you know this click like um 
That, I thought you could do that and like clip it back in and it would all be okay. But no, the same day, I spent about two hours maybe unscrewing the Xbox controller, getting the case off, everything. And due to the fact that there's a special screw just for the Xbox controllers, because you know, they love their money, so they've invented a whole new screwdriver for it. I had to random, like, find a random flathead screwdriver and put it in a way as such. Hang on a minute, guys. There we go. That's what the jug and Marty Dom get. So I had to put the flathead in an angle where I can actually unscrew this thing. And freaking, it hurt my hands. It took me ages. But eventually, I got it off. It, it's actually pretty interesting, guys. Um, let me show you this video I recorded at the time. Like the inside of the controller is actually pretty sick. So I took it all off and I realised that I completely snapped the thumbstick off in half. And you're probably wondering, well how are you playing it now? I eventually came up with the idea to super glue it back on and it's probably a temporary uh, way of fixing it because I, it already feels dodgy, like the movement, it, the, I can feel the super glue like getting stuck. So uh, sometimes if I move it forward, it will get like this. You can see it just gets stuck forward, so I have to like pull it back down again. But it's temporary. I actually fixed it, which is pretty cool. So then I took like another hour to screw it all back in, clip the, the sides, the handle clips back on, and yeah, no one even knew I broke it. And this leads me on to today's daily comment. Make sure to leave a comment. Have you ever broken a controller? I just want to know if it's just me who gets mad and decides to smash their controllers but I do know a lot of people in my school have much more severe controller breaks than I did because at least if it comes off again I can just go back and sort of make it better with super glue but freaking like you know Rotajour and stuff he gets his chairs and smashes his TVs and stuff and that's when he gets Ronaldo so I dread to think what he gets when he's angry. So yeah, make sure to leave a comment guys. Have you ever broken your controller because of rage? And also let me know what game because it'll kind of make sense. It's like you can't really rage over Minecraft unless your, your mate blows up your home or whatever. I haven't played it in a while. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing FIFA is going to be one of the most common rage inducing games. So I think that's going to be the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and honestly, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, then make sure to go check that out and smash a like on it. It was the Shine Inspiration Wheel episode 1. Honestly, I love the series, I love making it, I love recording it and you guys properly loved it. So thank you very much for as well. Make sure to smash a like on this video guys. I'm not even doing too bad. This is my second game on um, Modern Warfare Remastered in well, I can't say ages, a couple of days, because I, I did hit that assault rifle trick shot. But I'm not doing too bad. Alright, I'll get the outro done eventually. Make sure to smash a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment, the daily comment as always, guys. And subscribe to join Shine Nation. I'm going to try and get a kill for the outro. Peace out, guys.